What is going on guys? My name is Bucky Roberts and in this tutorial series, I am going to be teaching you the basics of Metasploit. So first things first, what the heck is Metasploit? Well, this is a framework. In other words, it's a collection of tools that you can use to test the security and find vulnerabilities for a website or you can actually test an entire network if you want. So a lot of penetration testers use this tool whenever companies they just set up a website for the first time and they're like hey we need someone to come make sure that there aren't any issues are any bugs with our website then you can use a tool like this but you can also use it if you just have your own personal website or maybe you just want to test the security of your own home network you can use this tool as well now with that being said I need to give you guys a little disclaimer before we begin if you use this tool on a network or a website that you don't have permission to access or you don't own, then that's illegal. You just can't find any website on the internet and start testing for vulnerabilities because like I said, that's illegal and you will go to jail. So whenever you become an actual pen tester and a company hires you, make sure that you have written permission. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. Now before we just start hopping into everything, I want to go over some things that may confuse you guys whenever you're just on Google looking for like tips and stuff and how to learn this. So first of all, like I said, Metasploit isn't just one tool. It's not just one thing that you test. It's a collection of tools. So you can do a bunch of different things with it and we're going to be going over all of this like gathering information about a target, scanning for vulnerabilities and just performing a bunch of exploits and you can actually write your own exploits for Metasploit but uh, yeah simple as that and as you can see this is a command line tool and if you guys are using Kali Linux then it already came pre-installed but if you guys are using another distribution of Linux then you can install it pretty simple and the last thing I want to mention before we get started is this sometimes you're going to you know, want to look something up, how to do something on Metasploit. So you're going to Google it, and you may see a website that looks like this. Now you're like, wait a minute. All right, so Metasploit, penetration testing software. Yep, that, that looks like what I'm looking for. But what the heck? I thought that this tool is free. So I'm seeing a bunch of this stuff that says buy online, free 14-day trial. What the heck? I mean... Am I using the right, run, looking at the right thing here? What's going on? So this is another thing that confuses a lot of people. Um, you know, they're using this free piece of software and they get online and they're like, buy this, buy that. So this company called Rapid7, this is the company that maintains both what you're looking at right now, this website, and also this free piece of software. Now the difference in this free piece of software that came with Kali and the one that you buy is just that the free piece of software, that's the Metasploit framework. In other words, that's the core heart of Metasploit. That's the thing that contains all of the tools. It's open source, a bunch of awesome stuff, and that's what we're going to be learning. Now, these paid versions, they are just different, um, you know, like extra features that you can have um, that you can buy for, but they aren't required. And these are just things like uh, you know reporting features there's a GUI version of Metasploit and there are some group collaboration tools but again the core framework is open source it's free for anyone to use that's what we're gonna be learning in these tutorials and if you guys ever you know start like a penetration testing company and you need some extra features then you might want to look into these paid things now the last thing that I want to go over in this kind of bugs me it's something called metasploitable so of course whenever you start learning this tool you just don't want to do it on your own website because what, what if you mess something up and you, you know you don't want to run a bunch of tests on your home network because you know what if you find a vulnerability and then something goes bad so it's a good idea to have kind of a little testing environment and that's what metasploitable is and I say that it kind of bugs me because why would you name it metasploitable when the actual tool is called Metasploit. I mean, can you, can you just name it something different, please? Because it's very confusing for people. So again, Metasploitable, 
this is your little testing environment and if you guys don't have any you know crappy server or anything that you can test on what you can do is you can download this and extract it and then you guys can run this inside a virtual machine but I actually bought a five dollar server a month so that's what I'm gonna be teaching you guys on in this video but again just to recap the thing that comes with Kali Linux this is called Metasploit that's where we're gonna be learning in this tutorial there's also a paid version of it that the company who maintains it offers and Metasploitable is a little testing environment that you can use <laughs> so uh, yep there you go and by the way this little testing environment it's just like a a web server that has a bunch of vulnerabilities and they're intentional vulnerabilities so you know just like a really buggy web server all right so that was noise mate and now let me close out of here open up a brand new terminal and let me bump this up so you guys can see the font a little bit better and all right so now let's start from scratch let's learn how to use Metasploit.